Welcome to Everything Arsenal. In this one, we will be talking about the potential lineup we could see in our match against Chelsea. So far, the preseason has been pretty nice. Big wins against Nuremberg and um, Ipswich and a comfortable ball win against Everton and another three goals against Orlando City. This time round, this this is this does not feel like a friendly. It's never a friendly. Last season, before the season started, we actually did play them um, again um, at the Emirates, and they beat us before the season started. And after the season commenced, they beat us again at the Emirates. So we don't want a repeat of that. The, it, they could easily beat you, and then you can carry that form into next season, which you don't want. So Florida Cup. Uh, by the way, if you win this, we win the Florida Cup um, tournament, and we win it with only two games played chelsea have played three chelsea after this they have played three games in the tournament but they lost to um they lost the other game the other day to charlotte um charlotte fc if we beat them we win the trophy which is good i mean my United have been celebrating the bangkok cup we might as well celebrate florida cup as well and um zinchenko could be celebrating a trophy in his first game i mean what does it get any better than that against Chelsea? It does not. So, which kind of lineup will we go for in this one? Um, first up, let me remind you of the lineup that we had last time against um against Orlando City. So, these are the players who started last time. Just quickly, Ramsdale, Pablo Mari, Holding, Cedric Tavares, El Nene, Niles, Lokonga, Martinelli, Ketia, and Pepe. And then, as you can see, the bench on the left side. Some of our players were still missing, but I'm expecting some of them to be back. Um, not all definitely. The likes of Tierney are still out injured. So... This is the lineup I'm expecting Atita to fail, not the one I want. Let me repeat that again, because I always hear people telling me, why have you gone for this guy? This is not what I want. Um, this is just what I expect Atita to do. It's very hard to predict um, uh, lineups, in, especially in preseason. So um, let's start with the with the difference. Let's start with the difference. So this is how um, the difference could look like. I think Ramsdale would start once again. I think he'll definitely start once again. Um, now, the back four is a bit hard. I think the centre-back uh, is easy. I think Gabriel and Saliba will definitely start in this one. They looked very solid in the last one. Uh, when, they, when Saliba came on, looked very, very um, easy for him. Gabriel looked very easy for him. Now, the full-backs is uh, very, very difficult. So, as I'm recording this, I had Bellerin on the right side. But as I'm recording this, I was thinking Bellerin last time, he came on with like five minutes remaining. And Ben White played well on the right side. Even without Tommy Yasu, there's a chance, there's a 80% chance that um, White starts at right back. So I've put Bellerin there, but a part of me, as um, the hours have gone by, I'm thinking Ben White could um, start on that, that right side and then Bellerin maybe come on at halftime. It doesn't really matter that much. Obviously, they could all get like 50 minutes and then the others get 40 minutes. But I have a feeling Ben White could start. Or if he doesn't, then it could be Bellerin and then Cedric on the left side. Obviously, it could also be Tavares on the left, but Tavares had a shocker last time out and um, he played most of anyone in the last game. He played like 84 minutes, most of anyone, everyone else was sub subbed off before the 70th minute. And also we're expecting him to leave. And I think in the previous game he also played. So I think he'll get a rest somewhere. And this could be the game. And if you rest him, you could only play Cedric on that left side or give our guy, the Deb, is Zinchenko. And uh, he's been training with the team maybe for two days, so I don't know how ready he is. Listen, I'd love if Zinchenko starts this game. I mean, it's only for 45 minutes or something. It doesn't really matter if he plays the first 45 minutes or the second 45. But, you know, um, we, we'd want him to start with the guys. We'd want him to start the next, the, the Gabriels and Salibas. I wouldn't want to see him in the second half when we are bringing the, the, the second team again and then Zinchenko is part of that second team. I'd love, I'd love to see him start. So I've, I've included that back four. But I can tell you, out of the five players, only three that I'm very confident will start. Um, it could be Cedric at right back and Zinchenko at left back if he gives him the debut right away. And it could also be Ben White at right back and Cedric on the bench. So I don't know. Which one would you guys go for? Again, it doesn't really matter. We obviously, we want to win the game, but uh, I think it doesn't matter because all the players will just get subbed off either way. So that is the difference um, that I expect. Um, kind of 70 percent expect uh let's start next up is the midfield now i'm pretty sure about the midfield i think this is the midfield that is going to start so this is what it could look like pate jaka and odegaard um pate jaka odegaard all came on last time um jaka and odegaard i think odegaard came on at halftime against ever uh, against uh, orlando sorry and jaka and pate came on around the 56 minutes and the moment they came on our midfield looked 
way solid, more solid because when we had um, Lokonga, Niles and Elneny playing in the first half, it was basically non-existent that midfield Orlando City could do anything they wanted. Uh, so Pate Odegaard and Jack are starting this one and I think against Chelsea, he wants to test um, most of the first team players like if the likes of smith are there, they would have played in this game. So that is what I'm expecting um, in midfield. Up front, I think he'll bring back the big boys and um, these days, Edin Kett is a big boy as well. So Saka starts on the right side. Last time Pepe started, didn't really impress me at all. So Saka starts on the right side. I think Jesus definitely starts this one up front. The fans want to see him against Chelsea. I'd love to see him start. Now, I've included Ketia on the left side. But we could also see um, Jesus playing on the right side, Saka on the left side, and Edin Ketia up front. That is a huge possibility. But I think that will be the front three. Martinelli could also end up starting instead of Ketia in Ketia because in Ketia started the last game against Orlando City. But I think both of those players are getting along so well in Ketty and um, Jesus. Uh, we've seen a good relationship in the second half against Nuremberg, uh, a bit of it against um, Everton and um, halftime again in the second half against Orlando City. They played very well together. Um, Jesus kind of got the assist from Ketty or he was tackled and then the ball fell in, fell in uh, to Ketty's feet and he scored from it. I think we could see both of them starting again. So it could be different in terms of um, the setup. It could be Jesus on the right, Sack on the left, and Ketty up front, or it could be that way. So I think Atta will give that one sh uh, one more shot. But as I've always said, next season, I think we'll see Ketty and Jesus starting a lot together. And I think we'll see White, Salib, and Gabriel starting a lot together. I don't think um, most of those players will just be on the bench, Salib or White, and then White on the bench forever, or start Jesus, leave Ketty on the bench for emergency. No, I think we'll see most of them starting together and then you could end up having material and smith throw coming from the bench most of the days so that is what i expect in terms of starting lineup let me do a quick recap before i go to the bench ramsdale gabriel saliba Bellerin, huge question mark, it could be Ben White. And then Cedric on the left, huge question mark, it could be Zinchenko. Midfield, Pate, Jacques, and Odegaard. And then up front, Saka, Jesus, and Edding Ketir. So on the bench, um, I've also not included Zinchenko on the bench because I was not sure he's going to start or anything. But now, as I think about it, I think he's going to play in it. I think he's going to make his debut in it. Hey, again, doesn't really matter. It's only a friendly match. It's not the season. We are just predicting here. Um, on the bench, Matt Turner, Tavares, Pablo Mari, Ben White holding. Walters as the defenders. So Tavares, Mari, White, and um, holding probably come on. But if White starts, it's going to be Bellerin on the bench. And then in midfield, El Nene, Lokong, and Niles. Um, the midfield that started last time on the bench. Um, Matt Nelly, Pepe, and Nelson. Nelson played really well the other day. I, I wouldn't mind if he gets a start against Chelsea. And then I've also included Marquinhos and Vieira, the new signings. And obviously, Zinchenko there if he doesn't start. But again, I have a 50% feeling that he could end up starting in this one because I still wouldn't want to include him in the second half team because he knows you don't really want to throw in Zinchenko when you have the likes of Niles on the pitch and Pablo Mari, they'd make him look very bad. And we know that. So you rather just put him with the big boys and he'd want to test the, the kind of first team that will start against um, Crystal Palace. If that's the case, then I think he will start with Ben White instead of Bellerin and then start with um, Zinchenko instead of Cedric. I don't know how ready he is. That's the thing. And then I think the rest of the squad will just look like that against Crystal Palace unless Martinelli starts instead of Ketia on that left side. That is um, the potential lineup against Chelsea. I just hope we get another win. Um, that will be how many wins in a row? Ipswich, Nuremberg, Everton, Orlando. So that will be five wins in a row in preseason. And then Sevilla next up. If we get another win, things will be looking very positive heading into the season. It's not just a friendly. Last campaign, as I told you in preseason, we lost almost all our preseason games. And unfortunately, we carried on that form to the season itself when we lost the first three games to Brentford, Chelsea, and Man City. We don't want that to happen again. We want to win our games this time round. And then um obviously head into the first game against Crystal Palace and the second game against Leicester with the huge momentum, with a lot of understanding between the players and win the game. So one more recap. Um, Ramsdale in goal, Gabriel Saliba, Bellerin, Cedric, Pate, Jacques, Odegaard, Nkete, Jesus, Saka, and then on the bench, Tana, Tavares, Pablo, Mari, White, Holding, Walters, Lokonga, El Nini, Niles, Martinelli, Pepe, Nelson, Marquinhos, and Vieira. Um, Smith is still injured. I don't know if he's going to make it in this one. I think Tomiasu and Tini are definitely out. Um, Leno is about to leave the club. I don't think he's going to make it. Um, same with Ranason. Um, Torero already left. He already talked about him. So 
the players that I'm really looking forward to seeing in this match are um, Marquinhos, Fabio Vieira, and Zinchenko. And obviously, Gabriel Jesus, how he does against a Premier League big boy, a rival, a team that we always want to beat. How will he do against those guys? So let me know a prediction for the match. I will go for Arsenal 3, Chelsea 2. I think there'll be a lot of goals. Thank you for watching and catch up with you guys on the next one.